everyone, welcome back to Screen to Screen. I'm Andrew, and this is Chris. Hello, I am Chris. And today on Screen to Screen, uh, we're doing a request uh, from Lonely Productions, uh, a comment on our last video. Yeah, yeah. Uh, our Pac-Man video. Our Pac-Man video. Lonely Productions said, uh, hey, let's let's do Frogger. And so we said, sure, let's do Frogger. Let's because turn Frogger into a movie. That's a legitimately interesting idea, and I, I think we could do some fun stuff with Frogger. Yeah, yeah. Now, it sounded pretty cool. Um, so when I see Frogger, I kind of think of the kind of uh, uh, the kind of movies where you know it's like uh, like Homeward Bound, Incredible Journey, uh, Toy Story, The Brave Little Toaster. Mm. The, these you know people, objects, creatures, critters, whatever, are far from home, and they gotta go on this this quest. They have to be reunited with their family or their owners or whatever. All right, um, all right. So I'm kind of picturing this as a little bit of like a Don Bluth kind of animation. Gotcha. So um, uh, we're doing, you know, separated from his family. Needs I think to, so. Needs to get back to them. Like maybe, uh, you know, just just like throwing ideas out here. Maybe, maybe like a new highway is getting built. And like, yeah, if we're doing Don Bluth, then yeah, it's definitely got to be like, like Secret of Nim. Like mm -hmm. the like they're destroying the the town. So he's he's got to he's got to get back to his family. Um and. Uh, there's a bunch of obstacles in the way, and maybe yeah, maybe some friends along the way. Yeah, yeah, he can meet um, other frogs. He can meet well, other swamp dwellers. I am thinking he meets the turtles. Yeah, yeah. And I know uh, there's an alligator. I definitely remember alligator. Yeah. So I think God. like the the, the the movie starts off where he is. You know, it's the happy. You know, t he, he's maybe it's a little bit like a Finding Nemo. Like he's a little bit like uh, sheltered. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so he's never been on this big journey before. Um, and so when he gets separated, he has to, you know, it's like a coming of age kind of thing. He needs to cross the street. Like, what better, uh, what better kind of, um, uh, metaphor for, for a child becoming an adult <laughs> is crossing the street by yourself. We open, we have a happy family, but, you know, he's coming, coming of age, he's growing up. Yeah, yeah. He's a little bit rebellious. Okay, sure, and yeah. And the parents like, you know, you gotta stay here. Yeah, you yeah. Don't leave the swamp. Don't yeah. leave the swamp. Don't leave the swamp. You know, it's impressed upon him. Yeah. And of course he leaves the swamp. Of course he does. He's and, a curious little kid. You know, he has, has a little bit of fun. Maybe he meets a couple of interesting characters mm -hmm. over there. But while he's gone, the reason why the parents were so insistent is uh, they heard the rumors and a highway's built. Yeah. And then suddenly yeah. he finds out home is all the way over there. Yeah, yeah. I think um, maybe even to extend the, the journey a bit um, is that maybe he, like, he, just an example here, he, he hops into a, a truck and he mm. doesn't, you know, maybe he falls asleep in there and he wakes up in somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. Or, or maybe he gets picked up by a kid. Ooh, uh... How about this? How about uh, the highway's gonna be built? We hear about it. Oh, he leaves man. the swamp, and an environmental group comes and scoops up all the animals in the swamp to move them. Okay. And he yeah. sees them get you know pulled away in the uh, in the car, and he has to follow. And it. he's left behind. Yeah. And I will be honest. I'm stealing this directly from uh, Finding Dory. Yeah, he sees. I kind of like this environmentalist because it feels like that whole era, like Fern Gully sort of. Yeah, because all those movies were always like, who's the bad guy? A large corporation, yeah, yeah. someone doing deforestation. And I think that really logging. fits with the theme of Frogger because it does. He, he's a frog. He's just trying to get across the the street and, and all these goddamn cars are trying this, to run him over. Yeah, and I, I think I think that's a very good metaphor there. Uh, I think we should we should follow that. I think that's going to be a bit of a of a misinterpreted like oh no they're they're stealing us when they're yeah, actually yeah yeah they're helpful but yeah he's been you know raised don't interact with humans right i think it's sort of like in homeward bound where like they they get brought to the farm and and the and the kids like oh you know we'll be back soon but they can't understand humans yeah get, you know he sees his family get taken away he sees maybe like the name of the truck and he sees like a symbol on the truck, and it's like he sees I, a frogger symbol on the truck. Yeah, like like he he knows he needs to find that symbol to get his family back, and, and that's a pretty common trope, I think, in these kinds of movies. Oh yeah, and I, I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking this for for a character arc for this little guy. He doesn't he's like too afraid to cross the street, okay. and maybe he can't cross the street at first. Maybe he maybe he finds a way across the street. He gets picked up by someone, whatever. I think Act Three is like the big cross, the big highway, or, or maybe he crosses a very small street in the beginning. Mm. You know, he crosses like a normal street, and then, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Here's what I'm thinking. You know, at like the end of Toy Story Two, 
they go into the um, the big uh, uh, baggage uh, uh, the baggage handling the, area. Yeah, yeah. Like they go through that little um, flap, and the whole impossible world of of the baggage area is there. The Act 3 is this thing where he sees the swamp, he sees his family, but there's a huge, like a huge highway, like system, like all these loops and all sorts of things. And and he's got to make it, he's got to make it over. We talk a lot about the, the, the street, but I mean, there's also that swamp. And I feel like the swamp is where he meets his friends. He meets like his uh, Kumba and Timon there, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's a river, but rivers run a little fast. So, so yeah, maybe it starts off as a river, but, you know, he takes a he takes a log. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe that's the thing. Like, maybe it's like this big danger thing. He gets on a log, he goes over a waterfall, and of course he's okay, because it's a movie waterfall, yeah, and it's yeah. fine. You know, and then he probably meets... I think, like, he's a, he's like orphaned now, and, he, and he's sad, and he probably needs a friend at that point, and maybe it, maybe that's when he meets a turtle. Mm -hmm. And Oh, and that's fun, because, like, a turtle's really slow, but yeah. it frogs fast, and so maybe he's like an old turtle or you know like uh i don't know like this turtle should be or, or maybe it's like a turtle like uh he's like a scam artist or something <laughs> <laughs> you know you know how it always is like like an all dogs go to heaven or something like there, there's the there's the, like the lovable rogue the who, grifter who, who who's like you know he's kind of a, a jerk but he's got this heart of gold for kids yeah, yeah you know uh you know something like that maybe he like acts slower than he is oh look there's a snake actually it could be a snake because oh yeah if we're going with like classic snake kids cartoons, yeah. snakes are always the the liars that are trying to trick you into you know, come on, just get yeah. in my mouth. He runs a snake. The snake's sort of like the grifter type, but he kind of learns to kind of like not be a jerk because you know because <laughs> Frogger's got a heart of gold. I'm thinking the snake is like I'm gonna help this kid, but really it's if I need food later, I have food. Oh yeah, yeah. But then he learns to love the frog. Right, right. Like he wants to eat some frog eggs or something. Like <laughs> yeah. I was more thinking like, hey, if things get hairy, I'm just gonna eat this kid. Oh, just gonna eat the kid. Oh, sure, yeah. but but I mean like the pot of gold at the end, that that golden goose, like. Yeah, he's trying to get to the whole. Yeah, clutch of he it. wants the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, that that's a whole that, swamp full of animals good. to eat. Yeah, like he's gonna, he's all right. So this is the scene. He's gonna eat Frogger. But and Frogger is completely oblivious because he's he's an innocent little boy. Yeah, he's just a stupid little kid. And and in, and he's like doing like ah like, oh, son, what what brings you out here or whatever his voice is, and he's like I have to get to my family. He's like oh a family, huh? Do you, do you have a big family? Do you? It's like oh yeah yeah like you I'm know. one of six different kids and you know there's my my mom raising oh, me that's alone. That's right. He's got six that, that could be up there. Yeah, like, these or, other is frogs. It five or oh no yeah he'd he'd be the sixth one. Yeah 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 that's that's good. And so then. The snake doesn't want. Yeah, he he wants to. He wants. He doesn't he wants the full package. He wants doesn't want a snack. And he's like, I'm gonna help you. And so they kind of bond over time. I'm thinking, over the course, like he's actively planning to eat the family. He wants to use this frog as food if you know, times get desperate. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna have a moment where like he opens up to the frog about how he lost his family. And right. It was. He didn't have an environmental group removing his family and keeping right, them safe. Yeah. They all just died. Oh, and, and like no one trusts snakes. It, it's and like no a, one trusts it's snakes. It's sort of like a like and a then, Zootopia kind of thing. Then this innocent kid who doesn't know any better says something along the lines of like, I'm sorry you lost your family, but you know, you're kind of my family now. Oh, yeah, and like, yeah. It really opens up that whole protective nature of like, all right, I got to keep this kid safe. Like, yeah. And of course you have that you have that moment where Frogger finds out that the snakes had snake in the grass and maybe he learns that from an alligator of course like he's got to come back and save him or something uh we got the family of frogs we got the sheltered kid he's trying to make his way he's got a small stretch of road to, to cross over and that's like his sort of like his 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 crossing into act two he's like i've never crossed the street before but yeah. here i am i'm gonna do it. and he starts crossing the street and or maybe and it, he's too afraid to cross and that's where we meet our snake ah uh, there we go so yeah he meets the snake and he, you know he kind of shows him a, like tricks to get around here we get to that first street he meets the snake he doesn't know any better to not trust the snake and the snake does the old classic hey just climb in my mouth i'll cross the street for you yeah and that's where they have the conversation like you know i'm trying to get to my family i have five oh. six Oh, that's so good, yeah. And he's like, well, maybe I won't swallow you right now because, you know, we, yeah. can, we can get to the bigger prize. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's good. I love that, that, that dramatic irony because, like, the adults in the audience know that that snake is going to eat that frog. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's good, that's good. Um, so, yeah, he helps him cross the street, and now the snake's invested in this journey yes. now. 
we got we're, we're doing a Don Bluth movie. We've got the the cute innocent kid. Yep. We've got like the street smart grifter. Yeah, yeah. But what we don't have is the Dom DeLuise character. Uh... And I think it should be a Firefly. Okay. Um, because I think he's he could have like he's flying around, he's zipping around, he's like crashing into things. And he's like. <laughs> so I mean, if it comes down to it, and it's too hard to do this because you know the snake wants to eat the frog. Yeah. And for some reason, the frog doesn't want to eat the fly. We yeah. Can... Change Dom DeLuis into like a newt or something. Something yeah. a frog still would like eat, a, or, but doesn't need to eat. Or, or maybe just like a beaver or something. Just yeah, unrelated. Be a beaver. Or maybe he could be the turtle. Like he could be on his back, like, oh, oh, I, oh, she's, I've fallen over again. Yeah, yeah. Like he could, like, because I feel like Dom DeLuis has to be like the clumsy sidekick. I think it's good that he's a clumsy turtle and. We don't have to make. He doesn't have to do the slow talky turtle thing. He could be a yeah. really fast talker, yeah. slow mover. A fast talker, slow mover, and also like a nervous, like ducking into a shell all the time. Like, yes. oh, oh, what was that? That is oh, perfect oh, for Dom DeLuise. Yeah, all right, all right. He's a turtle. The frog doesn't know the people that took his family are good. Yeah, yeah. And we could play off that by having Dom DeLuise's character be a former pet that was abandoned. Oh, yeah. And it's just like, you saw people take him? Oh, no, kid. Like, he got too big. Yeah, like the fan was just like, I don't, I don't feel like taking care of you anymore. Yeah. Though, though, I feel like that'd, that'd be, be good for the alligator. The alligator, it yeah. It'd be he, really he, good he for the flushed. alligator. That'd be real good. I mean, we could make him an alligator, like Tiger from American Tail. Like he could be the big, like predator who's very. You yeah. Know, but he was raised by humans, and like as far as he knows, food is literally food. Yeah. Like, human food. Yeah, he, yeah, he only eats human food. Yeah, like, like he eats like hot dogs and he stuff. He finds like half-eaten fast food on the side of the road. Yeah. So he's, he's a bit of a tubby, right. tubby alligator. All right, so he's an alligator now. Yeah. All right, all right I think that's good. Like, I he, think I think this is where we need to go. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Because so, we don't need that many characters, and I think... Yeah, yeah, okay, all right, so... so th yes, all right, all right. trio of reptiles is the way to go. So he crosses the street with the snake, and then there's maybe like a little bit, a, just a, a taste of a moment where the snake kind of goes, huh, what a neat kid. But you know, like, ah, don't think about that. I gotta eat this guy. Yeah, yeah, we gotta stay you focused. Know? We're we're a surviving character. But right? he, we're but, here to make it. But it's more like, oh, what an amusing dinner. It's it, like, yeah. that, that's kind of what he, and then when they get to the bayou, like at the bottom, that's when they meet. The uh, the the alligator. They they meet like I don't know if we got like if we got to name these characters yet, but like we can just call them Dom for now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for a moment, we could be in the snake's point of view. Yeah. And he freaks out because there's a goddamn alligator. Yeah, alligators yeah, yeah. eat everything. Like there's nothing alligators. Yeah, won't yeah, right, right, mouth. right. And then uh, you know, and then he screams, and then and then the alligator screams, of course. Uh, and then we get to know him, and he only eats human food because yeah. he's been raised like that. We could even have a fun moment where uh, the snake is kind of defensive, not because he cares for the frog, but because he thinks that's his food about to be eaten by the yeah, alligator. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! It's yeah. like, oh, back off, man! Yeah, it's like, th yeah, this is my friend. This is my food buddy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my good buddy. And and then he's like, oh no, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to eat any him. I don't want to eat him. I what are you talking about? He's not even cooked. You don't have a you don't have a lasagna on you, do you? <laughs> and and then they they tell him like, oh, we're 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 going. This is my Frogger voice. Like, <laughs> we're we're going to, to find my family. We're you know we're we're trying to find this. Oh, that's it. He shows him the flyer. Like, oh yes, I've seen this flyer. <laughs> like, and, and and you know, cause he cause he knows people. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's it. Oh, this is so good. Now he's, he's the got one a that can read. He could <laughs> yes, he could read. Oh yes, that's so good. Oh, that's perfect. All right, all right. So we got we got the naive kid with with. Uh, like unlimited optimism. We got the grifter who's got like deep, deep down, he's got a heart of gold. <laughs> we have the the bumbling psychic who can read human, and, and he's like, yeah, climb on my back, you know, like, like I'll, I'll I'll take you down the river, you know, something like that. Yeah. Like, and then they have, and, and that could be a whole thing where he's like, he's he's like paddling them down the river, and they're and they're talking with him while he's doing this. Maybe they should go over the waterfall at that point because he's too work. stupid to know. Like, yeah, he's, he's too domesticated he, to understand. He's like, oh, what's that? Oh, it's a waterfall! You know, and then... That yeah. water's fallen! What do we call this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. Uh, and so, yeah, then they go over the edge or whatever. Oh, oh, we do have the betrayal part. The snake, the snake betrayal. Yeah, yeah. Where, where he finds out the plan the whole time, some, somehow. <laughs> like, how does he find out that he was gonna eat him? How does, like... <laughs> how does he, like, slip up or something? <laughs> 
Maybe, maybe the snake is like talking to his friends at the beginning, and he and he's like, oh. Oh, I mean, that can work. Like they might run into other animals along the way. Cause... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it's like, oh, well, this isn't the frog killer, you know? It's like, shut up, shut up. Yeah, yeah. It could be a situation where it's just like, come on, man, we could we could share the frog. Oh, uh, that's good. Uh, you know what else it could be? It could be like this this snake, he talks a big game. He acts real street smart. But in the land of snakes, he's kind of like the loser. Yeah, he's some sort of cast out. Yeah, yeah. And so and so when he meets other snakes, like, well, look who it is. I can't believe you're still kicking. You're hanging out with your dinner? You're not supposed to play with your food. What does he mean you're hanging out with your dinner? Uh, nothing, nothing. It's like, oh, what? You're friends with the, you're friends with a frog? Oh, my God. And, like, they could be the ones to tell the frog, like, we eat you, yeah. you stupid kid. Oh, and that could be a situation where, like, after this situation happens, the frog stops trusting the snake, the snake's cast out of the group. Yeah, yeah. And it's just him and Dom De Luis for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the snake has this, like, sad moment where he's off by himself, but... Dom De Luis and the frog get into a bad situation. The snake's yeah. the one that has to show up. Well, I think that's like the highway part. Yeah, yeah. I think it should be a bit like I, I keep referencing other movies, but I think it should be a bit like Shrek, where where Shrek and Fiona have have the falling out. But but Donkey is sort. He's like you. Uh, you don't want me, Donkey. Like uh, I'm I'm no one's friend. You know. It could be something like where um where Frog is so disillusioned. Where it's like we're not going home, you know, like yeah. like he's like I don't have a family, or I, I don't know, like he's just they're so, gone. He's just all right, they're gone. He's like they're probably eaten by snakes, or maybe that's what the snakes the snakes say, like yeah, we uh -huh. ate your whole family, like but they're really trying to like raz on on the snake. Yeah, they're just like oh, your whole plan was to eat those guys. We already got to them. And, Delicious. And then maybe it's Dom DeLuise who like scouts up ahead and 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 sees like. So he fi he finds the frog family. Like, how does he know it's them though? Like, I mean, he can overhear them even. Just well, like, if, he, if he's right there, he should say like, "Oh, you you wait there." I've, uh, yeah. Maybe they're in a truck. Like he hears them yeah. through the wall of a truck, and he's like, "Hey, hey, are you oh, looking yeah, for he, Blink?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, yeah are we the looking truck, for Frogger? Yeah. Oh, no, the humans that like are operating the truck come out and see the alligator and yeah. just freak out. Yeah, so he's yeah, forced yeah. To run away. They're like hitting him with stuff. Yeah. And, and he's like, he's like too stupid to care that he's being hit with stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, like it's funny not sad <laughs> um that, that's cool um so yeah he, he and, and, and yeah yeah and then he races back to frogger mm -hmm. who's like completely given up but by the time they get back they see the truck already pulling out yeah yeah right right and it's like i know where they're going you know i, I overheard them um they're going to a new pond they made yeah 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 and so and so that's when they get to the highway mm. like they follow the, the 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 truck as best they can they get to the highway and and then they see like the pond off in the distance they see the car you know the truck pulling up to the pond and and through like a coke bottle binoculars they see like the, the frog family getting getting put into the to the pond yeah, yeah. the frog's like that's them um, and then they have to cross the huge highway, and I think that is the that's the big set piece. Yeah. Um, they they cross it. It's a, it's a hilarious gag. Like they, like I think I think Dom DeLuise is gonna be very helpful. Like oh, there's, there's an alligator on the highway. People are swerving yeah. out of the way. Um, and he's holding off like a few lanes of traffic, but Frogger still got to pursue. He's got to go ahead. He's got to go it alone because um, like, the alligator can't he can't get there fast. But enough. he gets stuck in like a scary situation. He's kind of given up, and maybe that's where yeah. our snake friend comes back. And... I don't. I mean, I think I just want to tweak it. I don't think I don't think he gives up at this point. He's too determined. But I think he is outmatched. Uh... Like he hasn't given up, but he is just physically unable to get through. Gotcha, gotcha. And he's just like really trying, but he can't do it. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what situation that could be. But yes, then the, then the snake comes in. It could be like a raised highway and he can't leap across, but he can cross if a snake's body was stretched across. Oh, yeah, 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 that's good. Because that's, that's like a sacrificial moment for yeah. the snake. Yeah, that's good, that's good. He And, and it can even be one of like the fake outs, like he, he, he it looks like he falls to his death, but he doesn't, he's fine. He's on the snake. Yeah, yeah, he's got to cross, yeah, he's got to cross like a tightrope and the snake is like holding on like a grappling hook. Yeah. And he's like, come on, kid, you can make it. Like he's holding on with his like fangs. And he, he gets over, and then, like, the snake lets go, and he falls, like, down, and we don't see where he lands, and mm. we think he's dead or whatever. But then he shows up, you know, at the end. Um, there should... I think the one thing we didn't quite establish is, like, what is, like, the... I guess, like, the big Act 3 is the, the big highway, but I feel like there should be, like, one... I don't think there needs to be like a final boss, but there should be like a big moment. Like you've gotten past the highway and now the final like 
you got you got to really put yourself to the test. Like, what's the journey that Frogger's gonna go on that he's gonna need to prove he's made it at the end? Mm. Like, what's the one the one moment? Not not just like the sequence when he's crossing the street because I think that's good. But what's like the last like Frogger's a man now? You know he. I think him crossing the street, because of how we set it up earlier with him riding in the snake, like, yeah. we take the snake out of the equation, he has oh, yeah. to be the one. Well, I, I'm saying, like, I want that last accent, that last little part at the mm. end, once he crosses the street, that one last little high tower surprise, where it's like, you know, like the, la the la like in Toy Story 2, for example, you have the whole thing where they're, they're in the big uh, uh, baggage area, but... At the very end, they still got to get on that plane. Yeah. You know, there's that one last accent just to really show this is the end of the movie. We did it. Um, and maybe it's, I don't, I don't know. Like, like everyone's got to get what they want. Everyone's got to learn something. All right. So like the snake, he's got to be, he's got to be selfless. Like that's his thing. Yeah. I think um, the alligator's got to do something smart and clever. Maybe that's his thing. Maybe it's his character arc. Maybe, maybe he needs to. Maybe he needs to appreciate his own worth. Maybe that's something. He he, he has a very low opinion of himself because he was flushed down a toilet. That's I mean, true. I mean, how bad do you have to be to be flushed down a toilet? <laughs> like, like all he did was grow. Yeah, yeah. Like he like he should be like a big baby. Like he's like he's just too big for himself. I still want that. I still want that. Like we've crossed the we've crossed the street. The hard part is over. There's that. Bam! One last thing. I can't think of what it is. Well, the problem is if we're trying to pull from this game, yeah. there's nothing to pull from there. We have to... This has to be a, 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 a oh, screen to screen original maybe, idea. Maybe man. this is maybe all right. How about then? Maybe he has to take a leap of faith. Ooh. Maybe, maybe because the last part of the game is getting to the frogs and not jumping into like the spikes or whatever. Like yeah, the, yeah. So so maybe like maybe like that he's on top of a moving truck and he's got to land in the pond with his his family. But there's like a row of like spikes or or whatever, like like barbed wire or something, like and he's got to land perfectly, and you know he believes in himself or like he's 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 got to he's got to like mentally go okay what have I learned in this journey, and he and he makes it you know, um, like he was so scared to cross the street at first, but yeah. now he's like a pro at it. That was really good at it. Um, He's the best street crosser. And, and you know, maybe his like parents are yelling out to him, like, I hate this level. Frogger, don't! It's like, trust me, you know, I got this. And then he does like, I've grown over the course of the story. <laughs> I've learned things. My, <laughs> I've my character's developed. I had arcs. Um, and then he, I think that like that slow motion like jump in into the the area there. He want, he's he's curious, he's not brave at first. Yeah. And this is where he learns bravery, where he he he's gotta make that jump. And he jumps off the truck, he lands with his family, and they've made it, and then you know, then the then the snake then, then the snake comes up and it, and everyone's like, Oh no, it's a snake, we're doomed and he's like, No, this is my friend and or 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 maybe Yeah, 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 cause cause he's back. He he's just fallen off of the bridge or off, off of the highway yeah. and he comes back and it's like, oh, you made it, S Snakey, or whatever his name is. We never came up with a name for him. <laughs> Snakey, you made it. And and he's like, yeah, kid. Uh, it, it, and, and maybe uh, Dom DeLuise comes back, he catches up and he's their friend too. And then maybe he teaches the snake how to eat human food. There you go. <laughs> they could they could live next to like a uh, like a like a Dunkin' Donuts or something like a place where they throw out food regularly. Yeah, yeah. And like the snake and the and the and the alligator have food. They have to eat the frogs and they protect the frogs. Mm. And you know be, because Frogger went on this journey, he's made some powerful friends to protect his family. Now he's sort of like the breadwinner of the family. Frogger separated from his family. They, uh, he's got to find his way back. He meets the snake. The snake wants to eat him, but he decides not to because he knows he can get the, the big score. Uh, he, the snake's a bit of an outcast, but you know he tries to play like he's a cool guy, like he's a big tough guy. And Frogger looks up to him, and um, the, he shows him how to cross the street. Like he hops in his mouth. He, he can't cross the street by himself. That's that's the thing. The yeah. first time he can't cross the street by himself. Then they go to the river, you know, they've come to that point in their journey and they, you know, he starts talking to Frogger and he goes, oh, what, you know, what an amusing dinner, that, that kind of, he, his, his opinions change slightly. Yeah. Um, then they encounter 
uh, Dom DeLuise, the, the, the alligator, and he's like, oh, you, you know, he tells him his story, how, you know, he's, um, he's, uh, uh, he only eats, uh, human food, and he needs, uh, he needs a place to go, like, he, like, may maybe, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe somehow his like his food source dried up, or I don't I don't remember how we how we justified that. He's he's got no home. He's flushed down a toilet. Yeah. If it's a musical, maybe he sings about how he's flushed down a toilet. I don't know. Um, and then he uh, so then he's like, hey, I ride on my back, and then they go down the river and they go off a waterfall. And I'm thinking uh, we just have because there's always like a wacky moment in these movies, like in the Brave Little Toaster, they run into like all those weird. Weird uh, uh, yeah, like the appliances. Yeah, yeah. Like there's always like this weird group. Yeah, yeah. That you bump into, you spend like five, ten minutes with. That could be where we like we run into a bunch of animals that have been displaced and they've given up. Or yeah, yeah. It could yeah. be like beavers that don't have a river to dam, so they're just like damming whatever they find. Yeah, that's kind of a funny thing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You need that weird like it works great because it's a kids movie, but the adults are like, oh, this is kind of dark if you really dissect. And them you know what else you could do? Because if we're doing a Don Bluth like edgy like eighty kids movie you could use the word damn we could you, we you, could. you could you could like the whole the whole <laughs> damn place is ruined you know and and he's talking he's a beaver so. yeah yeah oh, i like that that's like a fun little thing you can do in there that's fun but yes then they meet the other snakes then then they find out the snake's not such a tough guy he's kind of he's kind of a loser snake and he's also he's gonna eat He's gonna eat uh, Frogger, and also that the other snakes allegedly ate his family. Yes, and that's when we have Dom find the truck a little bit after that. Right. Then, then uh, you know, Frogger's sad. He's got a falling out with everyone. He gives up on life. Then Dom DeLuise, who feels so bad, he goes and he finds the truck that's got his family in there. Mm. He, he he's like, oh oh oh, I found Frogger, your you, 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 you little boy. And, and 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 then he goes and he tells him like, I found your family. And then then they then the you know then he's like, all right, we have to go find them. Like they're they're still alive, and so they go, and there's the big highway. Um, Dom DeLuise blocks some traffic, but, you know, Frogger has to keep going. He's like, go, go, kid, I can't hold down all of, all of this. So he's hopping around. He's hopping from, from you know, one side to the other. He's, he's these close calls. These cars are going by. Then he comes to that point, like that divided highway there. Yeah, yeah. And then the snake shows up, and he's like, climb on my back, kid. I'll get you through. And then, you know, the snake falls down, and then we think he's dead. Then Frogger hops, hops, hops. He gets to... He gets on top of a truck. He lands on top of the truck, and then he sees his family, and it's like you know, now or never. And he jumps and he lands uh, right at the right spot, and he's reunited with his family, and it's great. And then the snake comes back. He's fine, and uh, you know, if all is forgiven, and um, the uh, the and maybe he even stands up to the other snakes, you know. Mm. Um, and uh, then uh, Dom DeLuise comes back, and and how about those snakes come back? Like they were, yeah. they were trailing them. They yeah, wanted to okay. eat the family, okay. and our snake has an extra moment to redeem himself. He gets to like he does, he does, yeah, he he intimidates them. Like he yeah, stands yeah. up to them, and he you know he gets rid of them. <laughs> we could kind of undercut it a little bit, where like the snakes are not intimidated at all, but then Dom DeLuise comes back and is behind the snake, <laughs> and they'll freak out and leave, and he's like, "That's right, that's yeah. right, I am it." I am cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so then uh, they're all a family together, and there's like a dumpster nearby where Dom DeLuise <laughs> could eat out of. There's just a dumpster. <laughs> Which is a really funny phrase to say. Uh, and yeah, and they're all they're all good. Um, and that's Frogger. And that's Frogger. We have a movie. Uh, thanks to uh, Lonely Productions for yeah, yeah, bringing this idea. idea. It was a very good idea, and I think it worked real good as a movie. It was like not even really a stretch. I think it really just kind of wrote itself. It really did. Hey, if you uh, you like this episode, you know, like it, subscribe if you want more. And really, what we want from you is tell us some uh, things you want to see adapted in the movies or yeah. into video games. And it doesn't even have to be like a video game into a movie. Like you could just pick like a movie. Like I want, I want this movie to have a sequel, or yeah, I want yeah. to have a remake. But uh, yeah, yeah, we'd love to hear your ideas. And uh, I guess you also, if you have good, if you have a good outro, <laughs> <laughs> write our outro. <laughs> First. We'll see you guys later. And until then, the balcony's closed. <laughs> you suck, go away. <laughs>